Oh my god, I don't have my freaking eyebrows on. I was looking at myself in the viewfinder right now and I was like, what's going on? I can't start this video yet. <laughs> Hold on. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a first impressions. I'm so excited though. This is a special first impressions because I am trying out a foundation that I have been dying to try out and I know everybody's tried it out already all over YouTube. I'm like the last person to try this, but I keep seeing it all over TikTok. Guys, do you guys want me to start doing like makeup content on TikTok? I mean, I know I haven't posted on TikTok in like three months. I've been, I've been going through something. I mean, when am I not going through something? <laughs> but you know, mental illness. Sorry, that's not funny. Focus. I haven't posted in a while, but I usually do like uh, lip syncing stuff, a lot of new girl content is <laughs> my favorite. Literally, I could do that all day. If I could like quit my job and just do TikTok, oh my God. But would you guys like, like for me to include like makeup stuff there as well, like quick videos? I don't know. I've been loving makeup videos on TikTok. I feel like that's the new wave. Like who's watching YouTube anymore, right? <sighs> It's fine, we're, we're still here, we're still here. Point is, I've been dying to try out this foundation. Makeup Forever makes my favorite foundations. Like, they make the best base products. They literally ripped a hole through my soul when they discontinued the face and body foundation. That was my favorite foundation of all time. Still to this day, nothing compares. And I fell in love with their HD stick. Oh my gosh, I use it all the time. It looks so stunning in photos. I just love their makeup, like their foundations. Even their matte and their concealers, so good. Their matte velvet plus foundation, that's like really nice and matte and satiny. I even like that and I have dry skin. They just do foundations really well. So they came out with this new HD skin foundation, which I'm pretty sure this is taking over the ultra HD foundation. Right? I feel like this foundation has gone through a lot of transitions. And at first I wasn't gonna put this primer underneath it, but I really wanna test this out for you guys. I can't answer right now. I'm filming. I don't want Danny's dad to think that I'm ignoring him. So I don't wanna like forward the call, but I can't answer. Call you back. So basically this is the HD Skin Undetectable Foundation. Undetectable long wear foundation, forgot that part. And all of the foundations are so cute. I love this packaging so much. They really get me with these tops because they have the tops matching the foundations. Like they go according to the foundations. So the tops are like all different shades and it's just so, so pretty. And so I'm gonna try this out today for you guys. I'm gonna do half my face with my Liss Beauty Brush and then the other half with my Beauty Blender as usual. But underneath, I'm gonna put on the brand new Smashbox Primerizer Primer, which if you guys know, the Primerizer has been my favorite primer for years now. And they recently redid all of their primers and they improved them and they look like this now. <laughs> These are the three that I kept and I gave the other ones to my friends because they probably weren't gonna be good for my skin type. But they have like their anti-redness primer, their glow primer, and this is their hydrating primer, the Primerizer. It has this new packaging, and now it says it has silk screen complex, triple hyaluronic acid silk screen complex. I don't know what that is. Hopefully it's still the same great, amazing primer it's always been. So I'm gonna use this to prime my face, and then I'm gonna apply the foundation. Okay, let's see. Feels the same on my face, not gonna lie. Which is great, of course. And now I'm gonna go in with the foundation. By the way, I have mine in the shade uh, 1N14, which was previously Y245. I'm usually Y235 or Y2, I forget. But they sent me three shades and this one was the one that was like closest to my skin tone, so hopefully it matches. But I'm excited because this foundation has some delicious claims, all right? Some delicious claims. It says it's supposed to instantly blur the skin, okay? Like give you that blurring effect and has like a really beautiful natural finish, but it's also supposed to be like waterproof and long wearing, which sounds amazing, sweat proof, all that. Like everything you want in a foundation, this foundation claims to be. Hmm, smell. Is that my foundation? So I was gonna say, I think it smells really nice, but I don't know if that's my brush cleaner from like two days ago. <laughs> wow, that looks really, really pretty. Really, really natural. I can already tell it's the kind of foundation I'm gonna prefer with a brush. I think that my beauty blender is gonna suck up too much product. It's also supposed to give you medium to full coverage and I can definitely see like medium coverage here. I definitely didn't apply a lot, so I'm gonna layer it and see if you can build it up. It says it has a micro skin system that syncs with the complexion for true skin to skin finish. Interesting. What the heck does that mean? It also says it doesn't settle into the lines, which <laughs> we shall see about that. 
because everything be settling into these smile lines. Okay, let me see if I can give it another little layer. It has to be the foundation. I swear it smells good. Okay, so this is one side of my face. It definitely did build up nicely without any cakiness. My skin still looks like skin. Can you guys see the difference? I still feel like it has more of a medium coverage, not super full, but I prefer that anyway. I don't like something that's too full. It doesn't feel sticky. It's like a little bit tacky, but very natural feeling, you know? I like it. I really, really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side of my face with a sponge. Add a little bit more on this side, right from the get, just because I know my beauty blender. Naturally, we'll soak up product. Ooh, that looks beautiful though. Beautiful. Oh, I actually love how I, uh, that applies with the beauty blender. <laughs> I love it. That just looks so good. Oh my gosh, it really does blend right into the skin. Oh, look at that. I prefer it with my beauty blender. I don't know what it is. It still looks like skin on this side, but it almost melts in more with the Beauty Blender and I really don't feel like it's soaking up too much product. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's just, what can I tell ya? Makeup Forever knows their foundations, man. And the color's not too bad. It's like a little, it's a little more yellow than my natural skin tone, but I just need 10 minutes in the sun. Okay, so really quickly off camera, I just threw on some makeup and I immediately noticed how smooth my skin looked, especially for how textury it's been these days. I've been trying like some new skincare and I don't know, my skin is going through like a little bit of a texture freak out, but even though I have like some bumps on my skin, I feel like it everything applied so smoothly. It's been on my face for about an hour now because I started doing my makeup and, and watching the H3 podcast and I scrolled TikTok a little bit. So I've been away for about an hour now and it really isn't settling into my smile lines that much. Look at that. I mean, they're lines, so foundation settles, but it looks pretty freaking good. Do you like my gloss, by the way? It's very shiny, right? But my skin though, I feel like it looks so good. It looks like skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. It honestly looks like I just applied bronzer and blush onto my bare face. I also really love that primer. I feel like it gives me a nice hydrated look every time I use it, but man, I really don't feel like this foundation is settling at all, which is really amazing. I don't know, I'm really, really loving this, guys. I think it looks so, so good and just feels so freaking natural. Once you apply your bronzer, your blush, and all of that, that barely there tackiness completely goes away, and I, I feel like I'm not wearing any foundation. Like, it feels so lightweight, but really did smooth and blur the skin. Like, I, I believe it, I see it, I see it. I think it looks great. I actually cannot wait to keep using it. I'm super excited. I love it so far. I am gonna check back in at the end of the night to see how it looks because it's supposed to be like 24 hour wear, waterproof, sweatproof. Oh, I haven't worked out today. Maybe I, maybe I work out in this? I told myself after I filmed this video, I was gonna work out, but I'm kind of hungry, so I'm gonna go eat. And then I'll wait a little bit, and then I'll go work out. So I'll give you guys an update right before I go work out, and then I'll show you my, my makeup after I'm done working out. I'm gonna do the Peloton. I might sweat this crap off, but this says it's sweat proof, so I guess we're really gonna put it to the test later. Um, but so far, I freaking love it. I think it looks so good. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Okay, guess what I didn't do? Work out. Guess what I didn't do? Work out. I'm a failure. I'll build it. If I don't do it before my 9 a.m. call, I'm not gonna do it after. I've come to that conclusion. If I don't work out before my work day starts, I'm not gonna do it. But what time is it? 7.40. I did my makeup around 11 o'clock this morning, morning, afternoon, morning. Almost nine hours. Okay, I've had this foundation on for like the majority of the day, like a typical work day, or a little bit longer than that. And let me tell ya, we're looking good. Honestly, highly impressed with the way that this looks on my smile lines. Do you see like the minor dent in my smile line right there? It's like, it's very small. This one, you can barely see it. So, so impressive. Like, wow. And 
I usually have like a little bit of a dent right here in between my brows, especially by the end of the night, and I'm so surprised there's nothing there. My skin looks so smooth in this foundation, I'm, I'm a little bit blown away. I think it looks really good. I will say that my Smashbox primerizer always gives my skin a very dewy glow by the end of the night, which is what I love about it so much. My skin is like bone dry, and I wouldn't recommend that primer unless you have very dry skin. So that dew coming in, I will say that I that's definitely the primer in my opinion. So I don't necessarily think that this foundation like gets dewier the more you wear it, but it definitely hasn't broken down. It, it, it like looks really good. It looks the same as it did earlier today. I'm only missing foundation like in this area because I'm at Dog Porter. Loves to lick my nose and my chin. And I love puppy kisses. So I don't stop him. And so that, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. Honestly, I'm like pleasantly surprised my bronzer's still there my blush looks pretty decent everything is still intact i was really really curious to see how it looked after my peloton ride but so far my new year's resolutions are not looking good not looking good but this foundation is though and i really really like it i'm so excited i think i found a new favorite foundation of mine i definitely see myself wearing it a lot a lot, a lot, a lot. My mom is doing like a little birthday barbecue tomorrow. She turned 57 today, which is really exciting and scary and sad. But I'm gonna wear this foundation to her little barbecue because I feel like it would do well in the heat as well. I probably will use a different primer just so it can stay intact in the Miami sun, but I, I really, really like how this looks. What do you guys think? I know it's hard with this lens to tell, but my skin looks great. It's not splotchy, it's not looking weird. Honestly, two thumbs up. Five lightning bolts. I am really, really impressed. Honestly, guys, I know I was the last person to try this foundation out, but I really, really like it. I'm curious to know how you guys feel about it. If you've tried it, leave me a review in the comments below. Tell me your skin type, how you've been feeling with this foundation. Is it working for you? Because I feel like I have discovered a new favorite, 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 favorite. But yeah, guys, I think that's it. I think that's it. That completes this first impressions. That completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, 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 so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.